Here's the summary of Fed Chairman Jerome Powell's testimony to the Senate Banking Committee on March 7 and House Financial Services Committee on March 8, 2023. Fed is aware that high inflation is causing significant hardship and is strongly committed to returning inflation to the 2% goal. Over the past year, Fed has taken forceful actions to tighten the monetary policy, the full effects of which are yet to be felt. Fed has more work to do. Their policy actions are guided by the dual mandate to promote maximum employment and stable prices. Without price stability, the economy and labor market conditions will suffer. Here's what he said about the current economic situation. The data from January employment, consumer spending, manufacturing, and inflation have partly reversed the previous month's softening trends. The breadth of the revisions suggests that inflationary pressures are running higher than expected at the time of the previous FOMC meeting. Inflation has moderated broadly from the middle of 2022, but remains well above FOMC's longer-term goal of 2%. The 12-month change in total PCE inflation has slowed from its peak of 7% in June 2022 to 5.4% in January, as energy prices have declined and supply chain bottlenecks have eased. Over the last 12 months, the core PCE inflation, which excludes the volatile food and energy prices was 4.7%. As supply chain bottlenecks have eased and tighter policy has restrained demand, inflation in the core goods sector has fallen. Even though housing services inflation remains too high, the flattening out of rent indicates a deceleration of this component of inflation over the year ahead. However, there is little sign of disinflation in core services, a category that accounts for more than half of the consumer expenditures. To restore price stability, we'll need to see lower inflation in this sector. There will very likely be a softening in the labor market conditions shortly. Although nominal wage gains have slowed somewhat in recent months, they remain above what is consistent with 2% inflation. Here's Powell's take on growth. The U.S. economy has slowed significantly last year with GDP rising at a below-trend pace of 0.9%. Although, consumer spending appears to be expanding at a solid pace this quarter, other recent indicators point to subdued growth. The housing sector continues to weaken due to higher mortgage rates. Higher interest rates and slower output growth are weighing in on business investment. However, the labor market remains extremely tight. The unemployment rate was 3.4% in January, its lowest level since 1969. Job gains remained very strong in January, while the supply of labor has continued to lag. As of the end of December, there were 1.9 job openings for each unemployed individual and unemployment claims remained near historic lows. Here's what he said about Fed's monetary policy. With inflation well above 2% and with tight labor market, the FOMC has continued to tighten the stance of the monetary policy raising interest rates by 4.5% over the past year. Fed thinks that the target rate range for federal fund rates is appropriate in order to keep the monetary policy sufficiently restrictive to bring inflation down to 2% over time. Fed has also been reducing the size of the balance sheet. The effects of their policy action has started showing up in the most interest-sensitive sectors of the economy. It will take some time for the full effects of the monetary restraints to be realized, especially on inflation. Considering lags with which the monetary policy affects economic activity and inflation, the committee has slowed the pace of interest rate increases over its past two meetings. Fed will continue to make their decisions meeting by meeting, watching incoming data and their impacts on economic outlook and inflation. Although, inflation has been cooling down in recent months, it has a long way to go to reach 2%. This journey is likely to be bumpy. Since the latest economic data came in stronger than expected, the ultimate level of interest rates is likely to be higher than previously anticipated. If data indicates that a faster tightening is needed, Fed would be prepared to increase the pace of rate hikes. Restoring price stability will likely require that Fed maintains restrictive monetary policy for some time. Fed's overarching focus is to bring inflation back down to the 2% goal and keep longer-term inflation expectations well anchored. Restoring price stability is essential to achieve maximum employment and stable prices over the longer run. Fed doesn't want to prematurely loosen the policy, 
but looking to stay the course until the job is done. And this was his concluding remarks. Fed understands that their actions affect communities, families and businesses across the country. They believe that everything they do is in service to their public mission. Fed will do everything they can to achieve their maximum employment and price stability goals. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you found this channel useful.